Good morning, class. Miss Ellis here with an exciting English lesson. This lesson will be about storybooks and the parts of a story. So we're going to go ahead and start our story. The end. And wasn't that a great story, boys and girls? Yes. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is ask our questions. But before we do that, we need to decide which group will go first. Now, I've already dis dis divided the class into two groups, group one and group two. So someone from group one, raise your hand and come up here and you can roll the die. I see you. Okay, Brandon, come on up. Four. Very good. Now let's see if group two can beat that number. Um, okay, Shannon, come up for group two. Three. Okay, group one will go first. And what we're going to do is answer some questions about the story. And our questions are who, what, when, where, and how, which we'll see on the next slide. Now, group one, I need one person to come up after you talk about it and tell me who were some of the characters in the story. You have about two seconds. Excellent. 
Okay, Jonathan, can you come up and tell me who was one of the characters? And I'd like to start with the main character. And we've already discussed what the characters are and what the main character is. So I want to see if you can apply that knowledge and let me know who was the main character. Excellent. The donkey was the main character. Now, if you'll take one of the markers, I'd like for you to write donkey. And it's okay if you don't spell it perfect. Just want to see you try. O N K E. Very good. Excellent job, Jonathan. Um, now we're going to let group two go. And we're going to answer another question. This time we're going to answer what? Now there are many different things in the story, but I just want someone to tell me what was the purpose of the donkey leaving? Why, you know, why did he leave and what was he looking for? Okay, group two. Um, Nancy, come on up. Can you tell me what was one of the things that you got from the story and um, what was the donkey looking for? Excellent. He was tired and he wanted to eat because he was hungry as well. Very good. So I'll just let you write eat here in the what box or circle, sorry. E A. Good job. Okay, now we're back to group one. Group one, you're going to answer where. Where does this story take place? And we've already discussed the setting of stories, so I want you to think about where. And there are different places in this story, so tell me just one um, place where this story took place. Okay, let's see. Lisa? And you're right, it starts out at a farm. Now let's see you write farm. Do you want to change the color? Perfect. Okay. Farm. Good job. Okay, and we're back to group one. Group one, someone come up here and tell me when did the story take place? Now, I know there are different parts of the story, so just tell me one example of when you think this story took place. Okay, let's see, Derek. And you're right, there was a part of the story that took place at night. I want you to try your best and spell night. I uh oh. Now this is a tricky word that we're going to learn a little later in the semester. And for this word, it, I know it sounds like t like the t sound but it's actually something different. So let's get our eraser. And we're going to erase that. And then I'm just going to let you know to spell night. It's N-I-G-H-T. But excellent job. Very, very good. And our next question is how, and I think we're back to group one. Now, I want you to tell me how he's able to get the house at the end. How are the guys able to get the house at the end? Okay, let's see. You can all talk together. And let's have Brandon come back up and tell me how. 
Very good. They were able to sing and scare the robbers, and they never came back. So they got the house. Exactly right. And we're going to write sing in the how box or circle. Okay, class, that was an excellent lesson. Thank you so much.